welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve your art now i have a detailed video where i explain how to achieve your bikini bra and also your pants so with that you'll be able to achieve this complete outfit which includes your bikini bra and your bikini pants and in this tutorial we are making our hearts okay in the course of this tutorial if you have any questions please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to to make a video on so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your art so basically you have to take your tape measure and measure your head circumference so for me i have about 23 inches but if you want to you know make mass production of this art especially as a business owner you can use inches from 23 to 25 inches for female and note that it is easier for your art it is better that your art is free than having a tight heart okay because not everyone wants something very tight on the head so you can just use 23 24 25 inches you know it depends on the size you're actually making so for me now I have 23 inches and the basic measurement is divide your hair circumference by 6.284 so note this formula down because you are going to be using this formula across you know every art you are going to make so now we have a circumference is 23 inches so 23 divided by 6.284 we have 3.6 inches we have 3.6 inches this 3.6 inches is what we are going to use for the base of our heart now the next thing you are also going to need now is the side measurement the side what you have to do now is your head circumference so i've gone ahead to shorten head circumference as hc your head circumference divided by two okay so this is the formula for the side head second head circumference divided by two so we have 20 3 divided by 2 23 divided by 2 we have 11 inches let's just say 11 point something inches so i'm going to go ahead and just leave it as 11 inches so now this is what we are going to use now for the side now for the wideness of the art you can use 4 to 5 inches it depends on how high you want it to be you can use about 4 to 5 inches for it please don't forget to visit us on facebook cg designs on instagram cg designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below trainings are available both online training and physical training and don't forget to watch the video on how to make your bikini bra and also your bikini pants after watching this video because we are gonna slay in the summer period okay we are gonna rock that body and this is also like a motivation for you to be proud of your body size irrespective of how you know your shape is whether you are slim you are big you're in a plus size please embrace that body okay and rock it with all full confidence because you are a speck and you drip glory okay <laughs> So these are the basic measurements required. So the other thing you need now is your base. Your base. Now, the base actually depends on how wide you want it to be. And the base is going to determine how big your art is going to be. So you can make it 8 inches. You can make it 9. You can make it 10. You know, you might just want like a very small art. So you can deal with 6 or 7. So for this base, it totally depends on how wide you want it to be. But basic measurements you need is just your edge circumference. When you want to make the base, the upper part you just have your extra conference divided by 6.284 just down the calculation and for the width of the side you have your extra conference divided by two while for the wideness you can make use of four to five inches so now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe your beauty you are a beauty okay so embrace your body with your full chest <laughs> so guys the first thing we want to cut out now for our art is we are going to go ahead and cut out the base so for us to cut out the base basically i'm folding my pattern paper into two this way so after folding it into two i will go ahead and fold it again into four 
okay so let me cut out this part so that you guys can see it clearly so this is what you have for your pattern paper now to be able to cut out your base this is your pattern paper fold it into two this way after folding your pattern paper into two you go ahead and fold it into four now don't forget the formula for our base is our s circumference divided by 6.234 which is on the board so after that after dividing it i have 3.5 okay i have 3.5 inches so you place your 3.5 at this part now you place your 3.5 at this part you go ahead and mark it you place it this way you mark you place it this way and you mark it so once you are done you go ahead now and connect what you have together so you are basically going to have like a curve this way so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and cut this out this will serve as our base okay so by the time you open up the base up this is what you are going to have so this will be the base of our art so we'll go ahead now and set this aside we want to cut out the side our x circumference is 23 so 23 divided by 2 we have 11 inches so you are going to make use of that 11 inches for the length so you are basically going to be using your x circumference divided by 2 for the length so we have 11 inches for the length so i'll go ahead now and mark 11 inches for the length so for the wideness of your base basically for the wideness of the side you are going to use four to five inches it depends on how wide you want it to be so you can use four inches or you can go ahead and use five inches so let's go ahead now and use five inches so we are going to mark five inches you mark your five inches five inches please if you have any question feel free to drop your questions in the comment section okay so this is what we are going to have now because your side is not going to be straight this way what you have is not going to give you like a straight form this way but let me go ahead and cut this out so that we can work with that pattern paper so now you've gone ahead now to mark the length of the side we have 11 inches why for the width we have five inches so you can use five inches or four inches now the next thing you are going to do now is you are going to come to this part of your pattern paper you are going to come to this part of your pattern paper you are going to mark one and a half inches so you connect this one and a half inches to this part and the reason why you are doing that is because you know you don't want it to be straight we want to have that curve at that region so you go ahead now and connect it this way you can see the curve that we have at the upper part also you also go ahead now and mark one and a half inches so you also connect it just to give it that curved shape okay so that it can sit well so this is what we have now you also want to connect these two lines together so you just basically give it a curve also so what you have at this edge also is also a curve right so this is what it looks like you can see your curve you also have your curve at this part and just a slight curve at this end so this is going to serve as our base so basically go ahead now and cut this out if you have any questions please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section okay so this is what you are going to have once you are done you can see this curved part and you can also see this curve part that is the essence of it and don't forget that we have our base so the next thing we are going to cut out now is we are going to cut out the flay aspect of our heart so guys you can see what we have so it's also very necessary for you to label this pattern and because when you are doing like mass production you can use this pattern for you know different arts so here is the center front so that we don't forget and we are making two pieces we are cutting out this in two pieces and you have this part to be your base okay so just label it so that you don't get confused so this is our center front where our fabric will be folded into two so we'll go ahead now and cut out the other part of our heart so guys now we want to cut out the rim of our heart 
so you go ahead now and fold your pattern paper into four just like the way you fold for your flay okay for your full flay now you are going to take the base fold your base you know place your base at this edge this way so this will enable you to know where to mark because your base is going to fit into this part so once you place your base this way let me zoom it in once you place your base this way you go ahead now and mark it out okay so we've marked it out now so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark the length so it depends on how wide you want your um hat to be at this point okay you can make use of five inches you can make use of six seven eight it just depends on you but because what i want is that i want a very big ass i really want to see how it's going to look like so i'm going to make use of eight inches which is a whole lot but you can use four five six seven inches it depends on you and how wide you want it to be so i'm going to mark eight inches now i'm marking my eight inches so once i'm done i'll go ahead and connect the lines together i'll go ahead and connect my lines together so this is what it looks like so this is what it looks like so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and cut this out by the time you open this up this is basically so after cutting it out by the time you open this up this is what it looks like so you can see that you have the lower part of your art and then you have this part as your base and you have this part as your side i don't know if you guys are getting it like even from your pattern you discover that we've almost gotten our art okay so this is the, the base this is the side and this is the art so by the time it goes round, we are going to have our complete art and the next thing i'm going to do now is of course i'm going to transfer all this to my fabric and let's do that so guys, I'm going to make use of this kente fabric and you can see how cute this fabric is. So the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold my fabric into two and then I'll go ahead and fold it again into four. So after folding it now, we're going to take this um, brim part, which happens to be like the flay part. We'll go ahead now and place it on the fabric. Now, note that, okay, just place it on the fabric this way. And then you go ahead and cut this out. So you cut out this part and you also cut this out. So let me go ahead and cut that now. So guys, after cutting it out, so I've placed my pattern paper on my fabric. After cutting it out, this is what I have. Now note that what we want to achieve is reversible hat. So this simply means that if you are making use of two different fabrics, you can actually make use of two different fabrics, right? I head now to fold this fabric again. Now, because what we have is reversible um, hat, if you are making use of two different fabrics, you can actually make use of two different fabrics so that you can have, you know, the front to be one fabric and the back to be another fabric. It means that this second part that I'm folding again into four, you are going to make use of another that fabric to cut it out right but because i want it to be like the same i want to use the same fabric for both the front and the back so that's why i'm cutting it with this same fabric twice but if you are making use of two different fabrics please this second fabric which will serve as your lining should be another fabric right i hope you guys get it so you are going to have one piece each for each fabric so i'll go ahead now and cut this out cutting it out this is what we have you can see that we have two pieces one piece and the second piece and that's why i said you can use one fabric for one and use another fabric for the other so i'll go ahead now and set this aside I'm going to go ahead and fold my fabric into two after folding my fabric into two now i'm going to place the side you can see that we indicate that here is the center front it means that when you fold your fabric into two you're going to have this part placed on it this way right so the next thing i'll do now is to go ahead and cut this out so we've gone ahead now to place it on the fabric and then we've cut out two pieces for it now the reason why you know i have two pieces is because i'm using the same fabric for both the front and the back so if you are using different fabric it means you're going to have one fabric of this and one fabric 
for this right so we'll go ahead now and set this aside so now we want to cut out the base so you go ahead and fold your fabric into four so this is our fabric now you fold this into two this way and then you go ahead and fold it into four again you can see what it looks like so go ahead and place your base on it and then you go ahead and cut this out so i'm going to be leaving like half inch allowance for sewing allowance for the base okay so this is what we have now for this other fabric also for this other fabric also i'm going to fold this into two fold it again into four but please note that if you are using a different fabric at this point now you are going to mark it on another fabric but if you have any questions in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section okay so this is what is going to look like at the end of the day you can see our base our base you can see what you have for the sides so you have one piece for this side one piece for this other side and then for the lower part which is our flay you have one piece of this and then you have one piece of this so if you are making use of two different fabrics you should have the three of this in one fabric and this also in another fabric so now the next thing now is to iron our stay so guys for the stay i'm going to be making use of gum stay now gum stay is actually like a very strong form of stay compared to paper stay and this is because just to give it like more structure so that it can stand well but if you are using like a light stay it means you are going to iron it on two pieces like you iron your stay on this piece right and then you iron your stay on this piece if you are using like a very light stay it means you are going to iron it on this part of the fabric and also on this part but if you are using like a strong fabric you can just go ahead and iron it on one part of the fabric so let me go ahead now and iron this and show you guys what it looks like so guys this is what it looks like you can see our full circle and this is just like we in the garden <laughs> So I'm going to have to iron my gum stay to it. You can see I really want it to be big. Okay, that was why I used 8 inches. But if you don't want it to be this big, you can reduce it to 4, 5, 6 inches. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and fold it into two. So when I fold it into two, I'm going to notch this part. Okay, so make sure you notch it. Fold this into two notch this part and you also notch this other part so this is what it looks like so let's set this aside for this side also i've also gone ahead to iron my state to the side what we are going to do now is we are going to join these sides together to give us like a single piece so go ahead and stitch this part of the side while for your base right this is what our base looks like so you go ahead and also fold your base into two okay fold this into two and then you go ahead and notch this Don't forget that I am making use of two the same African prints but if you have two different fabrics you are also going to go ahead now and notch this part so fold it into two notches for the sides also this is what you have for the side so you go ahead and fold the sides into two and then you stitch this part of the side while for the base also for the second fabric you go ahead and fold it into two and then you notch it so so guys we've gone ahead now to stitch the sides and don't forget that the reason why we have two sides is because i am making use of the same fabric so the next thing you are going to do now is you are going to take the base where you notched for the base and place it at this joining parts of your sides make sure that the front you know fabrics are facing each other and then you go ahead and you stitch this all the way around so once you are done stitching it this base should sit on this base should sit 
on it this way so you can see that you have your cap almost ready so this base should sit on it but make sure that this notched part and this joining part of your sides are on the same you know spot while you stitch it so you do that for this piece while for this other piece also where you notched also and also the joining of your sides go ahead and place it together and then you stitch it all the way around once you are done also with this second piece you should have your cap this way so I'll go ahead and stitch that so guys now we've gone ahead to stitch it you can see what we have so this is basically what it looks like just like your cap right and also you also have this for your second piece that's if you're making it of two different fabric you get so now we want to attach it to this part so you take one of this right and you stitch it on this cap now this part where you notched okay make sure that this notched part aligns with the notch part of this part right so you pin this together and then you go ahead and you stitch it all the way so that this can fit into this like this right so you also this is what it's going to look like so you stitch it up. wow look at the beauty guys please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so you go ahead and fix this this way make sure that this part where you have your joining aligns with where you've notched on this brim right so you couple this up for this piece and since you are making use of two different fabrics for this other piece also you also go ahead now make sure that this middle part okay where you've notched aligns with this part where you've notched and you fix it into this part so once i'm done guys i will show you guys what it looks like so guys this is what it looks like you can see our art you can see what it looks like for one piece now for the second one this is also what we have right so the next thing you want to do now is to couple these two up so what you are going to do now is to place the two on each other this way place the two on each other and you go ahead and stitch it all the way round but after that please leave about two inches in which you are going to use to turn it out so i'll go ahead now and stitch this all the way round and show you guys what it looks like so guys after stitching it all the way around you will discover that i left about two inches at this point you can see so these two inches is what we are going to use to turn it out okay once we turn it out now our art is ready and i'm going to show you guys what it looks like so guys this is what our heart looks like you can see how cute it is and we are using like two fabrics so this part is going to be like one fabric and you can also flip it through this way you know and also rock it this way so you can rock it with this fabric and you can also rock it with this fabric so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video bye